Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a rundown of what have I, get, I got going lately. I uh, just finished up my system, my high pressure system, and I uh, wanted to give you a little preview of what it's all about. Um, you can see here I have uh, the reservoir set up, my high tech nylon filter. I have a bunch of particulates in there because I had to cut the, the end of my pipe off. My, and so there's some junk in the water that I need to get out of there, but this is just like 10 hours into it. Um, in the reservoir we have a pH meter which is connected to a particle photon and that basically sends information to the cloud and I get it on my phone so that way I can kind of monitor the pH as the day goes by. This little gadget here monitors EC and uh, there's a code, some code by Mike Ratcliffe on Hackaday that will show you how to get an accurate measurement of EC using just this. Um, it's very convenient, saves you some money. Uh, then I have a couple res some temperature sensors. This one here is to, this is needed for the EC meter. It basically compensates for the temperature when it runs EC. This one here I use for my res temperature that I send to the cloud. And so that I can tell the temperature in there and if it's getting hot or not. Over here you can see my particle photons that are kind of running all this. That's the circuit board for the pH meter. That's the photon that's running the pH and you can see the little this little blue thing here is getting the greenhouse temperature and humidity and sends it to the cloud and I get it on my phone as well. Um, right here you have a 160 psi pump. Uh, right now I only have it set up on a Titan timer you can see here and this basically turns it on and off one minute on four minutes off it's going to start any time now additionally as you can see here we have uh, this is my drain system it the water comes out of the pump goes up through here comes around there and goes into my mister setup there was the pump and the misters go off every once every four minutes as I told you and you, as you can see here the very high pressure fog coming out of there and that little rubber stopper holds it in there and get it pushed back in so it all wet so on this unit I have four misters the water goes in all of these misters aerates all these plants and this is there's 26 plant sites on this thing and the reason I designed it the way that I have is because if I want to put a, another unit uh, in the system and use the same reservoir, all I have to do is take this T, um, put it in here, put this in here, and then run that to the drain in the other system. And then is run take one of these, T off of this uh, input line and run that to another system as you'll notice the pump was turning on and off so it could handle four more misters which would give me another you know 26 plant sites I have another unit that I'm gonna put on there as well it's taking me a bit of time because I had to engineer this base and uh, get something that's kind of wouldn't look bad in your living room this is what I had before. It's massive and it's just not a very good idea. <laughs> so I went from that to this. And I can run multiple systems here, set up some lights from the ceiling and everything will run wonderfully. That's pretty much it. An overview of the whole system. So the water comes out of there, goes into the pump, goes up through the misting, misters into the sites, high pressure misters at 160 psi again drains down into the blue tube comes out of there and goes back into the reservoir where everything is measured in pH EC I also have a self-correcting pH system that I've designed and I'll have that set up soon I just need to get this running really quickly because I have plants that need to go in it and I wanted to show you guys what was going on the next video I will have some enclosures with relays built for that so it looks nice you can put them on the wall 
it will be self-correcting on the uh, as far as EC goes and the pH I built a little system for that the pump timers and the lighting timers will be run off of the photon that you can see here and that'll pretty much finish it once I get that going thanks for watching hope you guys are having a wonderful evening and happy growing God bless.